You sure I do like to show your opinions talking big like somebody's listening. Nobody's listening. 56th minute, 2-2. Two, two. An actual game. We didn't want to take this extra time because these guys are dangerous and they can pull a goal out of nowhere, but this Messi run was something else. I've never seen it before in FIFA. It just makes that perfect run that AI makes and we're able to slip him in and score the goal from it. This goal just gives us the ability to just calm down a little bit and not have to worry about scoring another goal. It just makes our whole life much easier, really. Yeah, and in the game against Jordi and Fadi, obviously that. Two very good players coming from a pro club's background. It was always going to be a hard game. And in that first league, I think we probably had the better chances, but we weren't really taking them. So getting that 90th minute goal was just like, it was a really big confidence boost to then go on to the second leg. It was huge. Just at half time, one nil down. We've been dominating this game. And then this pass from Mike is something else. He hits me through the pass. And as easy as that, just circle tap and goal. That's it. One all at half time. Perfect. Picking up this uh, goal against the uh, Colombian boys, it was... um. Pretty important, obviously, being an extra time. We knew it would pretty much be the whoever gets the first goal would end up being the winner. So, yeah, picking that up was uh, a massive, massive goal. Oh, this was Mike here. Mike has never, ever done this skill move every single time we've played. And he pulls it out in the final, whips the ball, and Arnold finishes it off. I was like, what were you even thinking? He's never, ever done that. And when he did that, I was literally... Sitting there just smiling, I was like, I could not believe it. Didn't know how to end his locker. But it was a great ball and obviously won us the game now. Ben, let's go. Come on. It's me, Sam. Let's go, let's go, come on. It's you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Mike. Come on. All right, Mark, you got this. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good shit. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! What the fuck is deserved? What do I deserve? Let's go! What do I Penalties, penalties, penalties. I've never, I've never been good at pens. I'm, I know Mike's always been good at it, but we're versing Dylan and Nigetti. I know those guys have always been in the practice arena, practicing their penalties every single day. So I knew, like, I'm like, I'm like to Mike, whatever happens, happens. He goes to me, um, no, we're winning this. So that, that gave me a bit of extra confidence about myself. And honestly, just always, they know I'm going to go, so I lacked a bit of confidence. But as soon as we started scoring the first two, and then we saved this one right here, this just gave us a, a massive head start, and they would have been worrying for sure, and they would have been thinking, oh, where are we going to go next and stuff. We just kept it simple, everything in the bottom corners. But this was huge. Um, I can remember, like, I was pretty nervous. I'd be lying if I wasn't nervous. And this save here, this was this just won us the game, basically. And Davis, last penalty to win us the game. When we scored that, we just went off. That was a great moment. He's going to just about be closed down inside. Draxa can't get anywhere on the other side of things. Game's starting to open up just a little bit, but look at the run from R9. Is he going to get the touch onto this? Yes, he is. He bullies his way through. This usually results in one thing. Only there's one to zero from Dyer Wolves. This was obviously in the broadcast. This was tough. I hear Mike in the back of my ear calling for it over the top through the ball. I just played it. I didn't really even really see it that much. And I was, just, I was just nervous, really. I'm sure he was too. And he had the composure to green the shot in the final. I personally, I don't know if I have the ability to do that. Yeah, that was crazy, but it obviously it was a huge start. Cancelo now. And he's somebody we haven't seen too much of either, is he? Very, very solid player. Back into Drax, a little bit of room, pass inside to Neymar, though. Which way is he going? It's left! Finds that little bit of space, it's the bridge. We had a one goal lead here. We were pretty comfortable with dominating a little bit, but another goal would have been huge. We started 15 minute, hit out Wadio and Mbappe to Drax like, Mark hits me feet, I'll just turn my man, I finish it off. And we just knew from that point that game was ours. 2 0 up, 80 minutes to defend, it was our game to lose really. Couldn't lose it from there, and we didn't lose it from there. The Sydney Open has definitely been one of the highlights of the season so far, not only because both sets of lights performed really well, but 2v2 FIFA in itself is such an exciting format, something we've been waiting for for quite some time in competitive FIFA. 
I was really confident in the pairing of Mike and Mark going into the season, and they really solidified themselves as one of the strongest duos in Oceania at the first time of asking. I couldn't be prouder of how they worked in the lead up to this qualifier to achieve the goal that we set at the start of the year, which was to win at least one major title in the 2v2 format. Winning the Sydney Open qualified us for the Team of the Year Cup, however, due to the current worldwide situation, unfortunately, the land event got cancelled. So hopefully, if all goes well, we should be back at lands for the Team of the Season Cup. And I really firmly believe that Mike and Mark can perform really well on the global stage and hopefully go all the way. As for what's next, we have the 1v1 qualifiers and the E-Club World Cup in the coming weeks. And I'm really confident that we can start out 2022 just like how we finished 2021.